I'm good, thank you. Now the mic is on. Offered for Stephen Genovese. Today we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady, the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Before God, we are all sinners. Shall we admit this and ask him to forgive us of our sins? I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, done what and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, fault, through through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, I Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first, apostles, second, prophets, third, teachers, and then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all the apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will be, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. We, we are, are his, his people, people, the sheep, sheep of, his, of flock. his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. We are, we are his, his people, people, the sheep, the sheep of, his of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock he tends. We, we are, are his people, people the, sheep the sheep of his, his flock. flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. We, we are, are his, his people, people, the sheep, the sheep of, his of his flock. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her, took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. 
Today we celebrate the memorial, or if you like, the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Our Lady of Sorrows is a title given to our Blessed Mother, which focuses on her intense suffering and grief during the passion and death of her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Traditionally, this suffering was not limited to the passion and death event. Rather, it comprised the seven sorrows of Mary, which were foretold by the priest Simeon, who proclaimed to Mary, this child is destined to be the downfall and the rise of many in Israel, a sign that will be opposed, and you yourself shall be pierced with a sword, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be laid bare. Luke 2, 34. These seven sorrows of our blessed mother included the flight of the Holy Family into Egypt, the loss and finding of the child Jesus in the temple, Mary's meeting of Jesus on his way to Calvary, Mary's standing at the foot of the cross when our Lord was crucified, her holding of Jesus when he was taken down from the cross, and then our Lord's burial. In all, the prophecy of Simeon that the sword would pierce our blessed mother's heart was fulfilled in these events. For this reason, Mary is sometimes depicted with her heart exposed and with seven swords piercing it. More impo importantly, each new suffering was received with the courage, love, and trust that, that echoed her fiat. Let it be done to me according to thy word, first authored at the Annunciation. This Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows grew in popularity in the 12th century, although under various titles. Granted, some writings would place its roots in the 11th century, especially among the Benedictine monks. By the, fourth and, by the 14th and 15th centuries, the feast and devotion were widespread throughout the church. The key image of the feast is our Blessed Mother standing faithfully at the foot of the cross with her dying son. The Gospel of St. John recorded, see his mother there with the disciple whom he loved. Jesus said to his mother, woman, there is your son. In turn, he said to the disciple, there is your mother. In entrusting Mary to John, Jesus was in a real sense entrusting Mary to all those who would be friends of Jesus down through the ages, which includes you and me. The Second Vatican Council, in its dogmatic constitution on the church wrote, as she stood in keeping with the divine plan, suffering grievously with her only begotten son, there she united herself with a maternal heart to his sacrifice and lovingly consented to the emolution of this victim which she herself had brought forth. Focusing on the compassion of our blessed mother, our late Holy Father, Pope St. John Paul II reminded us, the faithful, that Mary, that Mary most holy goes on being the loving consoler of those, who, those touched by the many physical and moral sorrows which afflict and torment humanity. She knows our sorrows and our pains because she too suffered from Bethlehem to Calvary. Indeed, Mary is our spiritual mother, and as a caring mother, she always understands her children and consoles them in their troubles. Then she also has the specific mission to love us, as we see from Jesus on the cross, to love us only and always so as to save us. Mary consoles us above all by pointing out the crucified one and the paradise to us. As we honor the Blessed Mary, Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Sorrows, we honor her as a faithful disciple and exemplar of our faith. Let us pray as we did in the open prayer of this Mass. Father, as your son was raised on the cross, his mother Mary stood by him, sharing his sufferings. 
May your church be united with Christ in his sufferings and death, and so come to share in his rising to new life. Looking to the example of Mary, may we too unite our sufferings to our Lord, facing them with courage, love, and trust. May God bless us. Shall I go to our Lord God and present to him our needs? For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they may be an example to God's people of the obedience that is learned through suffering, we pray to your Lord. Lord that God in his justice may be a rock of refuge, a stronghold for all who are oppressed, making haste to deliver them through Christians brave, brave enough to work for justice and peace, we pray to your Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That on this memory of her sorrows, we may do all we can to console our blessed mother for all she suffered for our salvation and allow her to be a loving, to be a loving presence in our own sorrows, we pray to your Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sufferings of Jesus and the sorrows of her virgin mother may encourage us to accept our share of the cross in our lives as part of the redeeming work of God in the world. We pray to your Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Steve Genovese, and for those who grieve them, especially the mothers who share in Mary's sorrow, that the grace of resurrection may lift them up in joy. We pray to your Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. At this moment, shall we present our personal needs to God our Father? God our Father, we trust that you always hear our prayer. That's why we are here. And so we ask you to grant these our prayers through Christ your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all the church. Receive, O merciful God, to the praise of your name, the prayers and sacrificial offerings which we bring to you as we venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you graciously gave to us as a most devout mother, when you stood by the cross of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, 
Dominions are dull and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its sudden, a pure sacrifice will be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Gracious to make holy, these gifts you have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as you celebrate the memorial of the seventh passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to your second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death your world to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most beloved Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant session in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your program, Church on Earth, with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Barry our Bishop, the other our bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, bless yourself, all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially Stephen, Steve, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, say the word and my soul sh- sh- shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I promise I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Reminder on communion when you come up to the table, please have the mask covering your nose and mouth. Cup your hands. We'll deposit the host in the hands. Step aside, lower the mask, consume the host. Raise your mask, and then please return to your seat.
Rejoice when you share in the sufferings of Christ, that you may also rejoice exultantly when his glory is revealed. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her son, we may complete in ourselves for the, the church's sake what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God.